Hello, in this problem we're going to find the second derivative of y with respect to x from this equation here, given this equation. So this is the unit circle. So we're going to use what's called implicit differentiation. So we'll start by taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So d dx of the left-hand side is equal to d dx of the right-hand side. Just applying the derivative. You can skip this step. This just means that we're taking the derivative of both sides. So taking the derivative here, we're going to get 2x plus, and then here, um, you want to think of y as a function of x. So you bring down the 2, you leave the inside untouched. There's a 1 here, but I won't write it. And then times the derivative of the inside. Well, the inside function is y, and so its derivative is dy dx. That's the chain rule. And then the derivative of 1 is 0. So here we can subtract 2x, so we get 2y dy dx equals negative 2x. And then we can divide by 2y, so we get dy dx equals negative x over y. All right, so now we're going to find the derivative again. We're going to use the quotient rule. Recall that if you have a quotient, say f over g, and you take the derivative, the formula says it's the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom all over the bottom 1 squared. So in this case, the derivative, which is the second derivative, is going to be the derivative of the top, which is negative 1, times the bottom minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, which is dy dx all over the bottom 1 squared. But we know dy dx, it's right here. So now we do plug it in. So this is negative y plus x times negative x over y. The plus came, ar uh, came about from the double negative there over y squared. So this is equal to negative y. Uh, it's going to be minus x squared over y. Right, this is really over 1, so when you multiply here you get that over y squared. We can clean this up by multiplying by y over y, which is 1. When you do that, you distribute the y here. So that's going to give us negative y squared minus, these will cancel, x squared over y cubed. And this is really cool. Look at this. You can pull out a negative here, and you get x squared plus y squared. But x squared plus y squared is special, right? It's equal to 1 right, from the original problem. So this is equal to negative 1 over y cubed. All right, and that's because x squared plus y squared is equal to 1. So this is the second derivative. That's pretty cool, right? So um, kind of a nice little fun little problem. So pretty cool. Yeah, this gives you the concavity at every point on the unit circle. The unit circle is a circle of radius 1. It's the one you study in trigonometry. You know, people memorize some of the values and they use that to compute the values of uh, sine and cosine of various angles. But that's the second derivative. Pretty cool. I hope this video has been helpful to someone. Good luck.